Um, I was told there was going to be a teleprompter here. <laughs> Carla? Like the speeches that they always give in the tele... I thought you had promised that. <sighs> okay, well, this is a problem because, uh, unfortunately, uh, just... I, you, some of you are here in Costa Rica studying Spanish, but I spent the last two weeks uh, in intense study of Amharic. The national language of... Yeah, how many of you knew that? Shame on the rest of you that don't know that Amharic is the language of, national language of Ethiopia. So, anyway, it's all this intense study over the past two weeks um, in order to give you this speech. Um, and to finally provide a voice to the South, a voice that is too often ignored and forgotten at such ceremonies. Therefore, without further ado, Aitan will speak in Amharic, and please be uh, patient with my translation. I don't know if the translator translating to Spanish knows how to translate Amharic. <laughs> Does she? No? Okay. So my Amharic is not fully mastered yet, but I have been working on it. So I must say, Ganalu, Yamala Kubruchu. Okay, Nkwanda Ramatachu, Nkwanda Salachu, Nkwanda Sale. Good evening. But I'm just saying, but after we talk on Kwaiba, I'm going to ask you to come and talk about it. It's a pleasure to be here, finally speaking Amharic, my mother tongue. Uh, after having to listen to all of you speak English for the past year. <laughs> Perhaps this is the first time an audience of over a hundred has been spoken to in Amharic in Latin America. <laughs> I was told, I was chosen, or I was told by my peace education brothers and sisters to provide some words to live by. I can't translate that. It's terrible. Terrible words. Sorry, go on. Go on. Uh, it was, this was absolutely ridiculous to give this speech because I had to teach Paul Amharic in the last two weeks while I was completing my uh, thesis. Paul was a very impressive student of Amharic. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's fine. Ir, ir katal, item. Go on, go on. I think I have to teach this guy I'm Harik again. <laughs> on a serious note, our love during the year with eight of us was really amazing. Finally, we can speak one language, PSA education, eight of us. Uh, we came from four different continents with eight unique perspectives on the world. Our differences were clear on the first day. But as the year passed, our shared humanity led us to develop a unique bond, a bond that united us into truly one heart. And as we discovered during our trip to Puerto Viejo, and if you speak Spanish, you'll, you'll appreciate this, but we did see this. It was a great saying, difieran las opiniones, que sea uno el corazón. Thank you, our professors in peace education. The year was so amazing, thanks to you. Gracias a todos que trabajan en la UPAS y a todos los costarricenses que aman a la paz. Vivan siempre el trabajo y la paz. I will remember something from every country represented in my program. Cameroon, champion of the African Cup of Nations. 
Does everybody know it? Is that true, Amr? No. <laughs> <laughs> USA. Neither. She's not really from US. She's from South. She's my neighbor. <laughs> Canada. Oh, they are so slow. They don't even learn Amharic fast. You know. They are slow. <laughs> Thank you. Brazil, Marco's grandfather, you won't believe this, invented the bikini. <laughs> Pakistan, the nuclear missile program is a fake program. It doesn't exist. I, I, Usman told me. <laughs> Ethiopia, the poor women, there are no good looking men. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> On a final note, the future of this planet belongs to the young and unborn generation to come. And all of us gathered here today are p peace educators, not just the eight of us, but all of us here are peace educators, simply by the way we choose to live our lives. And I know I speak for everyone that by looking at the graduates with whom we've spent a year, there's no doubt uh, for us to be hopeful that the, we have a hopeful future together, to forge truly a peaceful future together as peace educators. Amase Genalu. Thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs>